hello youtube i hope everybody is doing fine today i want to show you a new project i'm working on and it is this pcb and it is a brushless motor controller so that's the blown up version on the screen and um, here it is in real size so it is really tiny and it is made for a uh, inexpensive 2804 brushless motor and um, anyway I was interested in brushless motors for a while and um, as you know they need a certain uh, circuit to drive them and um, it's also advisable to have an encoder so you can know the position of the motor and then you can do many many interesting things with it and i did order a motor driver chip this is the drv ad313 and this thing is obviously tiny where is it i lost it here yeah. and to try anything on a well of course you cannot use it on a breadboard and you can hardly solder any wire to those pins so i did look and i didn't find anything that I liked to buy readily and uh, of course since I'm a PCB designer I figured I make it my own and I make it a little different from what you normally see on the internet and this is actually an encoder chip that will uh, read the position I mean this one you can obviously see you can get as a module and you can use but then again how you gonna mounted on here so it's a little more difficult so I came up with this this is my version of a controller it does have the magnetic encoder on the back or front well this would be the front and it is based on the Atmega 328 this is the motor controller chip as you can see for that and it has USB with built-in uh, USB to serial uh, chip. Uh, USB to serial, yes. And um, it has up to 20 volt input that you can use for the motor. The circuit runs on 5 volt. And uh, this is it. And I made some mounting holes with it because once you have it here, well, this will get mounted like this. You see the four holes that are designed for this motor. And you can just mount it on here. The magnetic encoder is here. You will mount it with some spacers, obviously. And then you can use the mounting tabs to mount it. And... Here is some little info about my sponsor. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com Not only does PCBWay offer high quality PCB services, which include standard PCBs, they also offer advanced PCBs, flexible PCBs and PCB assembly. You can upload your Gerber files and select the options according to your needs including SMD stencil and assembly services. On the top of the page you can make your selection. PCBWay also has CNC machining, sheet metal cutting and bending, 3D printing and injection molding services. You can choose from a vast variety of materials. You can upload your CAD file for an instant online quote including the selection of your preferred material and surface finish. 
They also offer anodizing of aluminum parts in different colors and surface treatments. You can get sheet metal fabrication and laser cutting. 3D printing services and cover your injection molding needs. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for hobbyist and professional manufacturing as well. So I will make these, will have them made by PCBWay.com, which is the sponsor of this video. And um, this is it, I will make this open source. Um, it is, you can use it with a simple FOC library that is available for the Arduino and uh, if you search a little bit on the internet for brushless motors you will find many many interesting projects done with them and um, I can't wait to get this little guy moving um, <clears throat> I think I mentioned that I will make it open source so you can either just get the data and make your own boards or I will share it also on pcbway.com where you can order the PCBs yourself and make them and I will have a few of them for sale in my Tindy store. If you're interested, if you have any questions, please let me know. One more thing, the way I designed the tabs is that no circuitry, obviously there's not much room anyway. But um, you can, if you want to mount this somewhere like in a, a round enclosure for any uh, robotic application, you can also cut the tabs off and just have a round PCB and have it mounted like that and then mount it into the enclosure and then have the other part that is rotating where you can also mount whatever you're uh, using. So that's the idea about the tabs. So if you don't need them, you can cut them off. Otherwise you can use them for mounting purposes. And uh, this is about it, I think. Um, oh, it has a USB type C connector, a vertical one. So it is coming out this way. So you can have all the connections coming out to the back if you're mounting it in an enclosure that needs to be small and um, oh I almost forgot it also has a uh, analog input because some of the projects I saw on the internet uh, they use potentiometers to move it forward backward or whatever you can also control it obviously over serial over your PC but it has three inputs uh, 5 volt ground and an analog input so you can connect a potentiometer on there and also control the motor so if you want to get started uh, this is a perfect all-in-one PCB that you can use to have these little guys moving if you're interested please let me know in the comments and I will answer any questions you might have thanks for watching and have a great coming up week. Bye.